Hello, welcome to Software Incorporated. This, uh, this is a relatively new game, which is in alpha at the moment, I believe. <laughs> and I thought it would be nice to bring this to the channel as my first video after about <laughs> a year, <laughs> about seven or eight months. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the get into a new game. So this is in nowhere no way perfect and everything will change. But animation styles they're not too good, but honestly <laughs> Honestly I quite like them. They're quite simple and you don't really concentrate on animations when you're playing so, uh, I'm not actually going to use a tu tu tutorial because, yeah, I don't, uh, yes, because I've been watching enough of this for a while, so we're obviously going to go with, uh, no, we're not, we're going to go with Fellows Film Studios, and obviously my name, and we go, you can select male or female, graphics are a bit glitchy as I said but what can you expect so I'm actually going to have a, a nice coloured jacket here I'm going to have a nice white shirt I'm going to leave the face I'm going to change the hair slightly so it kind of matches my own uh, shorts so Pants, shorts, pants. Okay, let's go with pants. Darn Americans. Uh, let's go for a like, grey colour. There we go. So, let's do the specialisation. I think I'm going to go for system design. Uh, audio, no. I go for 2D code and audio for my art. So, uh, obviously, going to be a good lead, a good programmer. Um, I'm, I'm going to take marketing down a bit. I don't need marketing really. I'll have a team for that eventually. Um, I actually think that's alright. So we've actually got mods already in the game, which you can download. I haven't found any yet. Uh, starting money, 5,000. Start at 500,000. Actually, no, start, start at 50,000. That seems a reasonable amount. And we will start in 1980. Uh, so we can actually choose. I'm going to choose easy for now, <laughs> uh, because future updates occasionally they break save games. So we'll have to start again at some point. So days per month, I think. Hmm. Let's just leave it as one. I don't know. Let's see if it is two days a month. <laughs> Very realistic, mind you. Let's go ahead and start game. Would you like to begin the welcome tutorial? You know, I think I might. So, welcome to Software Incorporated. You can drag this window elsewhere, uh, somewhere else if it is in the way by clicking and holding the title bar. That's pretty much standard. Press and continue to advance the tutorial. Move the camera with WASD. Or by moving your mouse to the edge of the screen, and I haven't I haven't enabled that. So uh, rotate the camera by holding the middle mouse button. You can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel. Yeah, it's pretty standard. Uh, keys can be configured. Top right, you can find your current uh, top. In the top, you can find your current bank balance. So we have the fifty thousand. 
Current reputation, each time you fill a star you will unlock new perks such as more awareness around your releases. That's that's cool. How much money is moving in and out of your company? M monthly profits. Since it's your first day nothing is showing. If you click here a window with an overview of your bank flow will open. Oh that's cool. You can control how fast time moves by using these buttons. Well, that was pretty much <laughs> self-explanatory. Important messages and updates will appear on the left. All your controls and windows are here. Bottom left corner. That's that's really nice, actually. <coughs> the way it's all laid out. Remember, you can always restart any tutorial from the options menu. Uh, is there an options menu? Options menu. Oh. Options tutorials. Oh, that's cool. You got every everything on here. Or oh, zoom for that. The game is always paused in build mode. Let's start by building a room. Click on the build room button in the build panel. Let's build a small basic room for now. We don't need it any really fancy. We just need enough for our guy to work. And uh, let's make it 10 by 5. Sure. Good, you can move up and down floors by pressing Q and E. Holy crap. So you can have a lot of floors actually. So uh Oh my, you can have a basement. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can have eleven floors. Twelve, including the basement. That is insane. <laughs> now let's add windows and doors. You can either select a category or search, search for a window or door in the build panel. So where would that be? Uh... Furnish. Be cool if you could expand this menu, mind you, but it's not too important. Windows, where are you? Is it? Oh, it's here all all along. So actually, gonna, I'm actually going to do a few windows on the side here. Uh, sure. Let's play. God. Ah, so shift. Uh, darn it. So let's do. God, I had to make this weird shape, didn't I? So let's just do it like that for now. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, I need a door. So, I should do a stand. <coughs> Notice how the room lights up when you add windows. Make sure to add enough so that your employees can see. You can inspect lighting, environment, temperature, and noise conditions by clicking on and selecting the room. Can we? Oh, there we go. Lighting, environment, noise, and temperature. That's really cool, the noise and temperature. To remove a window or door, place a wall on top of it. Let's put some furniture in your new room. Build a new table by clicking on the furnish button or searching for table. That's the table here. Office chair, nice Upholstered chair, no wheels though. Cheap chair, uncomfortable plastic chair. Waiting chairs. <laughs> <coughs> Finally, add a computer. When you add a computer, click and hold where you want to add it and drag the mouse in the direction you want it to face. Finally, release the mouse button to place it. Computers have to sit on top of a table and face a chair. That was... 
pretty self-explanatory. Old computer. More more pixels than you can count on one hand. <laughs> when you put tables next to each other, they'll be grouped together if they don't have anything on top of them so that they can be used for meetings. Huh. Your founder does not get tired, hungry, cold, or need to use the toilet, but when you hire new employees, they will. So make sure to add at least one fridge, a coffee machine, a radiator, a ventilator, and a separate toilet room before you hire new employees. Now let's assign the room to a team. Employees from other teams may then not use it or even pass through it. Right click your new room and choose switch team which resembles a circle with arrows. Huh, that's quite cool. The window will appear. Click on core to assign the room to the core team. Switch team, core. Remember to assign employees to a team as well. You can do this either by right clicking on an employee and choosing switch team or from the employees window. All employees are automatically assigned to a team if there is only one team in your company. Holding shift while clicking on objects, rooms or employees will allow you to select several at once. You can then right click anywhere to see the actions menu. Try selecting at least two things in the game. Boom. Good. Now let's exit build mode. Done. When you are ready, open the employees window to start managing your employees. This is a list of all your employees which details their status. You can check any of the options in the top bar to get more details on all your employees. When you select an employee in the list window, they will be selected in the game and you can select you can get details on their specializations at the bottom of the window. Try selecting an employee now. Now right click anywhere and click the change roles button which resembles a wrench. I don't see a wrench. We have to right click on him. And right click anywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, let's do it outside the building. Okay, well, <laughs> could have said that. Or, you know, click the big change roles button. Clicking on a role in the select role window will assign the employee to that role. You can also click the any role button to let your employee act in any role. Note that lead cannot be chosen unless the employee is assigned to a team and an employee cannot be a leader while in any role. Close the select role window and click continue to advance the tutorial. With your employee selected, right click anywhere once again to bring up the actions menu. Uh, and select details which resembles a single person. So I am a cocky misanthropist. Wow. Okay. Here you can see the stats of your employee in the top left corner. You can see your employee's personality traits and below that your employee's skills in each role. And clicking, uh, clicking a role will also allow you to assign the employee to that role. Okay. That's pretty cool. Continue. In the bottom left part of the window, you can see you you can see you employees specializations. I'm I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say your, which controls how well your employee works with different subjects. Okay, that's quite nice. Top right corner window. You can see the employee's traits. These traits are controlled by your employee's personality traits. Aptitude controls the ability to learn and build skill. Leadership uh, controls the ability to research and make the team happy. And diligence controls the ability to arrive early and not call in sick all the time. Okay, that's quite cool. 
Finally, in the bottom right part of the window, you can see the latest thoughts of your employee. This will tell you how happy they are with their workplace. In the beginning of the game, you'll need to make some quick cash, bring up the contract window to get some work. Really, more reading. Fine. This is a list of available contracts. New contracts will be added as older ones are completed. Contracts have an upfront payment to you will receive for accepting the work and a bigger payment for completing the work. There will be big penalties for not finishing the contract and any unfixed bugs. Breaking the quality or time agreement will result in a lower payout. Browse the contracts now and accept one you think sounds fair. Uh, required quality horrible. Yes, yeah, choose that. Design work items are worked on by designers or employees in any role until you promote the work t work item to alpha. Press continue to advance the tutorial. Now employees on the team have you have assigned <laughs> assigned will begin work. The work item will slowly fill up as it progresses. For design documents it is important to stop when the task is completely green so you don't lose quality. If you wait too long, inexperienced designer will begin over engineering. <coughs> that is pretty fair. <laughs> Click develop in the action menu when the progress bar is filled to begin alpha development. When the title bar, uh, click the title bar to collapse the work item. Click end to finish your tutorial. Click buttons to improve life. <laughs> okay, well, so let's done with the tutorial. So let's, uh, we need him to come in first. But I got, I got money for accepting the contract. So I think I'm just going to add a plant hollow computer for Lux in the year 2020. Okay, well, uh, let's add a plant to this. Uh, let's take it. There we go. So what's this need? The temperature will vary a lot in this room. Add more radiators and ventilation. So let's in there and add more. Really? Okay, well. It is a big room, I suppose. Let's just move the desk as well for now. And another office chair and another PC. Because screw Max. Uh, okay. Well. <coughs> Let's click play and we'll click here when you're ready for your first day. Oh, okay. So we've made a lot of no profits. Ah, hey, my guy comes on a nice square bus. Or not? Oh, it is 6 a.m. 7 a.m. Uh, when does my guy come in? It's 8 a.m., okay. So he's current. Okay, I need to click develop. Oh, no I don't. Assign to core. Come on, work. Mr. One PC. Overpowered, currently on. Oh, overpowered, currently on. Currently used by me. Come on, use a computer. You're supposed to be doing things. Assign to core. Did I? You supposed to be doing something? Okay. Employee details. Add it right. Manage employees. Me. Role. Plo. Any role, god damn it. This I love working. Well, that's good. That's very good. 
So as you can see, he's just smashing on his computer. Which is pretty much how how coding and programming works. You just smash on your computer until something gets made. <laughs> so designing as oh, designing now. So we we'll, we have to wait for him to finish. So I think he leaves at sixteen hundred as well. So <laughs> come on. Oh god damn it. Skip to the next day. Smash in the keyboard. Go ninety percent, hundred percent. Develop. Would you like to begin the alpha work tutorial? Uh, yeah, why not? Your design has now been promoted to alpha and the real development will begin. Alpha has three stages. First, alpha in which the product is developed, then a possible delay depending on how competent your employees are, and finally a beta in which as many bugs as possible will be fixed. That's cool. Press promote in the action menu when the alpha is ready. Note that you will lose some quality if you end the alpha phase prematurely, but it might also be the best thing to do if you are running out of money. The tutorial will continue once you begin the delay phase. Okay. Oh, I need to work. <laughs> and he's gone home again. So you know, can we actually hire an employee now? Sure, let's begin this one as well. The amount of applicants you get will depend on your insurance account. Okay. Oh, come on, fine. You can deposit and withdraw money using this slider. <laughs> money on your insurance account and you not provide not 0.5% interest per year. Wow. Having more money on your insurance account attracts more applicants when you search for employees. You can search for a specific age group by adjusting the sliders, but note the satisfaction of your current employees are affected by this. This is really all there is to your insurance account. Okay. Let's look for... Let's look for a programmer. In well, I'm I'm two I'm system I think so I'm doing a two D programmer. <clears throat> Begin looking. You don't have a lot of funds in your insurance account. Yeah. So let's do this by score. So you're thirteen. So look at this programmer. Cocky and optimistic, 81% compatibility. It's pretty good for a first uh, Dudley Bryant. This, did I hire him? <laughs> well, we'll soon find out when he comes in, the, if he comes in the next day. So there should be two guys arriving. There we go. Hey, you stole my chair. So they're both smashing away on their keyboards. The work on this will be going a lot faster and you're just sitting around doing nothing. An employee is hungry and having trouble working. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. So we need to do things, don't we? So I'm going to build a break room. <coughs> and a toilet. And we're going to have two doors. We are going to have a couch, which is huge, a lamp, we're also going to have a lamp in the toilet, and a toilet. So in here as well, we've got to fit a table, we have also got to fit a fridge, um, let's just give him a standard coffee machine. We can't really afford TVs at the moment, so let's not do that. Uh, 
let's place a large window there and sure a large window there we're not going to put a window in the toilet so that'd just be you know not very nice <clears throat> so you should go and do things now That is really cool. I really like how they take their coffees back to their desk. It's really nice. Also, this place is starting to get dirty. We should probably hire a janitor soon. So, 85% environment. Come on, let's improve this. 98, 9900. Okay, let's promote this to delay. Let's fix two bugs. Let's release. So we've got six grand for that. Perhaps we should look into developing our own. Fine. Welcome to Design Document. The Design Document, the heart of Software Incorporated. Start by picking a software type. Okay. So let's just do. So we can either do operating system. Which I know takes ages. Visual tool, audio tool, game engine, or game. Let's just do a visual tool for now and. Whew. Think of a name for this. Um, hmm. Let's pick a name. Or you can either press the name button to have it generated. Oh, that's cool. Picture Cut Pro PowerPoint. Power Suite Render Point Vector Studio. Actually, that sounds quite nice. Photo Maker uh, Frame Edit. So you can actually you can only view images with this. Uh, GFX Power Maker Render Pro Image Scape. Render Maker, Vector Cut, Frame Sweet, GFX. Let's call this GFX View. So we want to enable quality assurance. <coughs> uh, we don't have a server yet. Let's find an operating system. So there's only one at the moment. A <laughs> company first. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, popularity, quality, outstanding. So the license is 1,800, but it's the only one on there for now. Innovation, very low. Best case quality, good. Stability, very high. Usability, medium. It's assigned to core team. <coughs> some software runs on an operating system, and some software can only run on operating systems that the operator, that the software is built on, can run on example games can only run on the operating systems that its game engine can run on and as before your features might also depend on which operating systems you choose to support you can pick your operating systems here if nothing is shown the software type you picked is not an operating system is not operating system dependent press continue to carry on okay we've got we've picked filters Filters, wow, <laughs> features. Uh, you can now decide whether you want your software to be open source, which will make it free but boost your reputation and drive down the competition a bit. You can make your software a sequel to a product you made previously or which you have brought from another company. You can do this by clicking the button and selecting product. Yeah, yeah. Making a sequel will give a big boost depending on the success of its predecessors. <laughs> You can also make your software in-house, which means you won't sell it to other companies. That's nice. If your software depends on a server, yeah, like an like an MMO. Finally, you can pick a source control server from this list to support the development. Using source control will decrease bugs and speed up development if your server can handle the load. We'll look into that. 
Before you finish uh, inspection, yeah, yeah, OS coverage. So let's develop this. So who are you assigned? This coffee is great. Well, that's that's nice to nice to see. Uh, employee management, you're actually assigned to core. Okay, let's start this. Won't get much done today, mind you. Um, probably might be a good idea to build a lamp as well. Let's build a nice floor lamp, shall we? Let's skip next day. So, we're actually making a profit from... Well, that was yesterday. Can you get rid of these? Because I've heard they're quite annoying. You can! So, I think we'll complete this <coughs> and then do we'll continue this in the next episode. So, all these are nice smashing away on computers. Perhaps we should hire a janitor as well. <laughs> that might be good. Uh, hire employees. Oh, no, don't hire employees. Manage staff. Okay, let's hire a. Hmm. Thousand a month or five fifty an hour. Let's hire a temporary cleaner, and they'll come in tomorrow. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's oh okay. Well, they'll come in now. Let's just uh, can't do it now, but we'll have to just place just put a random one server on here. Small server. No, I've done servers. Wow, well, I've seen servers. So is cleaning. None of them have a coffee yet. Perhaps because they're going home in 20 seconds. <laughs> Boop. I like how he just takes the brush home. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, uh, I should probably skip to the next day. So I've heard that you can actually have people working overnight. You can change their work hours. <coughs> so let's see this. Uh, hmm. Details. Certain teams. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You can change which teams come at when. So they come at eight o'clock and they go at at four o'clock. And I'm presuming you can change. Yeah, you can change that. So that that'll be cool for the future. But come on, this development is taking ages, and it's only a it's only a visual tool. And come on, smash away on your keyboards. <laughs> So I think you can you can only skip if no one is here. Come on, smash away, smash away. I need some money. It's actually on good quality at the moment, so we could actually leave. Oh, he's called in sick. Great. <laughs> this will make things a lot more interesting, and we can skip that. Yes, 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 I know we're nearly out of money. <laughs> so, I'm going to send that into alpha work. <sighs> Never. Fed up with tutorials. So let's hire another cleaner. <coughs> I should probably hire a full-time cleaner at some point, but... It's, in fact, let's hire another, another couple of people. Because things are going very slowly at the moment. I do wish this menu could get bigger. Let's put it opposite these. There and in front. No. Go there. So, chair, chair. 
PC, even though that's not where I wanted to put it. Can you move it? Move. And also a plant. You know, prefer moving it. So you know, you never know if it if you don't get your money back. Probably don't. It's probably less. But it's <clears throat> hire an employee. No, done. Done that. Let's set it to about five hundred again. <clears throat> this time I'm going to get a designer in. So your score is that. Let's interview you. Short tempered, goofy. Pessimistic. Mean, stubborn. Really? Are you serious? <clears throat> okay. Cocky and generous. Not very good skills though. But A7 compatibility and mini gates. <laughs> Let's hire you. And let's skip around to the next day. So profits are way down at the moment. Oh good, he's back. Do, 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 smash away on the keyboard. Wow. Who would have thought creating a basic GFX tool, well, a visual tool, would have taken so long? Let's call a clean again. Then he should be here shortly and clean. You're heading for bankruptcy. Yes, I know. Unless we can get this out and it'll be good. I, I'm going to hire one more employee <clears throat> for the lead of artist in audio. Uh, we don't want to look for salary, we want to look for score. 10% compat compatibility. 28%. 58. Dramatic extrovert. You'll fit in perfectly. Let's go around to the next day and get things done because this episode is running quite long at 38 minutes. <clears throat> so things are moving a bit faster now. Funnily enough, I didn't actually see what the minimum team was for this, so I've probably done it in quite low. <clears throat> but I need to get these monthly profits up before I go bankrupt. Let's uh, just hire a cleaner. <laughs> and you're just sitting down doing nothing. So promote. It's in beta. Release. Um. Yeah, let's release it. Interwebs. <laughs> let's, let's just do interwebs. I like how they just all smash the keyboard at the same time. So this, I hope this makes us money, but we won't find out until the next day. <clears throat> wow, yes. We have made some money. So that's our bank balance. <laughs> We've made five grand. And that's on our software. So, I hope actually that we can make a bit more money. Also, that cleaners is a lot of sitting now. So, we're currently marketing this, so we might get a bit higher profits tomorrow. I <laughs> guess she just does a little bit of development before she goes home. Heading for bankruptcy. Eesh. Made a thousand. Hmm.
Well, I think we should probably do just do some more contract work for now. Month seven. Wow. Chicken dump. Scat static website recommended team size one. Look for something of a team size of four. Artist fifty percent quality bad. Uh, unless you have a server. <laughs> <coughs> So we'll do that and it will accept the work. We'll also end the that and we'll do some designing. And you're sitting down on nothing. Come on, monies. We've made a bit more profit today. But that was only from accepting the contract. Hopefully our software does a little better than it did. Oh good, we, we did make a little bit more profit off our software. We made 5,000. Uh, 52% of the goal. I'm assuming that blue line, that line is the minimum for designing. So, <coughs> 80, goal 80, no, oh, come on, as long as we hit our goal, <laughs> we can uh, get this done, yeah, 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 losing money, 98, 99, 100, go, alpha, we won't get this done before <laughs> they go home, mind you, This has to be this blue line there. So I'm presuming the blue line is what we have to aim for, as as a minimum sort of thing. But. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. He's got a holiday. I'm going to end this episode here. And I'm going to save this for next time. And we'll, we have made a profit today. I'm only 2,000, mind you. We'll save this for next time. And I will see you then in the next episode.